Hi guys! One of the most common themes that I am seeing in YouTube at the moment are videos that are centered around beginners and newcomers. Now I can't say that I haven't made a video you know, of that topic myself, but just 90% of the videos that are out there at the moment, a lot of them are all teaching videos and they're all talking about the same topics. Now one of the biggest topics that I'm seeing is the topic of uh, ritual items, altar items, all that sort of thing, and your lack of need. Now, I actually did speak about this in one of my own videos and also did say that you don't need all of these items. It is what in is inside that counts. It is your intent that counts. You actually don't need any of this. But then I sat down and I thought about it, and I thought about when I started on this path. And I did read in books at the time that you don't need ritual items, you don't need all these altar tiles, chalices, you know, athames, you don't need any of it. And I knew that. However, I wanted it because it did help me focus, concentrate and visualise on my specific goal uh, to have all of these items in front of me. And my first um, athame was a letter opener and I think I'd even blue tacked uh, crystals onto it and don't laugh, you know, working with what I had. Um, so, you know, when I've sat down and I've thought about this, I almost think now that I'd like to retract my previous statement of not that you don't need them, but I think for a lot of people they do help a person's personal path just by having them. You know, that they really do help you. If you have your athame in your hand, it really helps you focus and visualise what you're doing. Just because you have this item in your hand, the item itself doesn't hold the power, you do. But that being said, a lot of people just want these items and it doesn't matter what anybody in a video says, you turn the video off, but you still want the item, you know. So what I thought that I would do was make this video, Wicca slash Witchcraft, on a budget and just show everybody that these items can be bought at your local thrift store. Now I actually went to the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence in Brunswick, obviously it's in Australia. Um, but I know you guys have savers. Now we have savers here too and luckily in Brunswick it's all in the same area within a couple of blocks so I can walk from one to the other. Um, but all of this, bar probably two things which I'll point out, were bought at Brotherhood of St. Lawrence on Tuesday. Now somebody, the divine, somebody loves me upstairs, I tell you what. Um, I did, actually didn't think that I could walk in and find all of these items in one day but I did. So I have proven to myself that it is possible. And this was all done very cheaply. So, I'm just going to turn you around. And we'll start with the little brass bowl. Now, this was, oh, I can't remember. I think it may have been $1.99. Now, I love this little bowl. I think it's just gorgeous. And the next item I came across, actually, this was the last item I came across. Um, and it was sitting all by itself on a bookshelf just waiting to be found. Now this will be my chalice from now on. I absolutely love um, the colour of this glass. I just think it's a magical glass. It's almost gothic but it's just so beautiful. It's three dollars. Um, now while I've got you here, we'll just, I bought this on the same day. Um, this candelabra stands at about my shoulder height and as you can see I'm holding the camera more or less in front of my face and probably from your position it actually looks it would be taller than me. <laughs> um, now this picture here, I've actually put it here just to show you guys, but I didn't actually buy this on Tuesday. But that Egyptian picture that you can see was bought from Savers for $4.99. Now that originally was just on a black piece of plywood that had been painted, but it, it did actually come from Egypt and it's a hand painted painting and it's beautiful. Um, so what I did was actually very gently scraped um, scrape the painting off the ply board and I've put it into this frame and the frame again did come from Savers as well. Um, yep, yeah, that was probably a few months ago. If not, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, now the next item I found, now I just, I can't, this is annoying me because you just can't see the beauty of this crystal. It's just, it's not picking up the colour. But I found this beautiful amethyst cluster for a couple of dollars. Now, again, these items I really didn't expect to find, but I did. Now this one, I actually thought the cauldron, of all items that you would find in a thrift store, that a cauldron would be the most difficult to find, being that they are quite an individual piece. 
but not 10 seconds had I walked into the store and a lady came out with a trolley and this was in it. So I believe that this was meant for me. So it will be going on my altar. Um, now this one was the most expensive out of uh, most of the items that I bought and it was $12. But considering that you can buy a cauldron that is a quarter of the size of this um, on an online store or in your local uh, you know, esoteric or metaphysical store and you might be paying anywhere between $30 to $70 depending on what it looks like and which store it is. Um, but this is about, I think it would even be more than nine inches wide. It's really quite big. You could even have a little tiny fire in there if you wanted to. Now the next one was this sort of retro gothic looking candle holder. I'll just pull the cauldron forward a little bit. Uh, it's almost shabby chic. I don't know. I just love it. I really think it's beautiful. That too will be going uh, on my personal altar. And that will probably just be one of the centerpieces uh, of my altar. Now we'll just move down here. Now these little bowls, 50 cents each they were. And I have four of them, and I love them. I think the colours are beautiful, the pattern's beautiful, and they just suit the purpose so well. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of water if you want that in there, anything you like. But today I have my water in this Moroccan, little Moroccan glass that I found, and that was, you know, a dollar. So, all in all, you know, for less than $35, I have purchased all of these items that have, you know, brought me to having a beautiful, eclectic altar. You know, and you can use them, you know, you don't have to use them for what I've used any of these items for, but it is just proving that you can buy altar slash ritual items um, at your local thrift store for, a, you know, for a very small price and successfully practice your path. So, until next time, I bid you all many blessings and goodbye.